Hey guys, Colby with Mesa RC Foam Fighters here. I got Tommy and Nathan here to help me review the Tiger Moth 75. So what do we got, Tommy? Well, we got our controller here. It's a 2.4 gigahertz controller. There's three channels for it. And the controls are really smooth, really nice. What's really cool about this controller, though, is there's a little pocket in the side that you can take your battery and charge it in the controller. So, Nathan, why don't you talk about the plane? Well, here we got the plane. It came from the package. The uh, awesome thing about this is that I didn't have to build any of it. It's meant for beginners also. Like, if you destroy it, it's made of mag magnetics, so you can easily just put it back together. Also, it's super lightweight, easy to fly, and it just came in the packaging like this. Alright, so we're in the gym. I got my review team here. Um, and we're going to take the Tiger Moth up and in the, in the test it out, see what the made flights are all about. Um, if you want to come in here, it's in all it does is just connect right here. Um, there's got little magnets underneath the battery and they just stick around the plane. The control services once again. And then the little magnet thing on the back, the magnet servo actuator. That's all it is. So we'll, the, um, the book says to hand launch it first. So we'll hand launch it. I'll just test out and make sure it works and then I'll let my review team take over. I think the, it gets pushed down too by the, the vents in the gym and pushing it down. But it is, it is really cool. This is cool. Alright, so I'm going to come land it, and I'm going to let my crew take over. <laughs> That's cool. Alright. Alright, I'm Obviously, looks like the student is better now than the teacher. So we'll let Nathan take a look at it. We'll have the guys come behind you. Last guy do it and then we'll, we'll talk about the plane. Oh! 
right. is the the mechanics of this and how it's built. I mean, it's all just magnets. See? I mean, you can essentially take the plant apart, and then <laughs> so that it, it gives it has a lot of forgiveness. So beginner flight pilots like uh, Nathan here, you know, you can. It's okay if he crashes into something or it has a rough landing because it's so light and there's so much forgiveness that it's going to you know, help him out. This is going to be a great trainer for the kids. Um, you know, we're indoors, we can fly anytime we want, um, and it's uh, it's really going to be a good trainer. So, Nathan, you never flew before, what did you think? My first flight, it was all weird to me, but I got used to it. It's still a bit wobbly though, but it was really fun for me. Good, and then Tommy? Well, I've only flown planes with aerials and the railroad, and the rudder was really easy. But I'm assuming that having this small plane is easy to control made a lot better with flying. Cool. Coley, what are you texting for? Oh, uh, I was texting my mom that I want this for Christmas. <laughs> I didn't ask my mom that too. Oh my god. Anyways, talk about the plane. Um, it was pretty easy to fly. Um, after you get used to the rudder not like being proportional, just going like that fast and stuff, it's really easy to fly. Um, the elevators work great. It's cool. it's a good plane. Cool. Well, um, th this was in a, an available now in stores for I think seventy nine dollars at Hobby Town USA. Um, uh, great product, go out and get it, and uh, we'd like to thank Hobbytown uh, for sponsoring this episode.